Bauna's Kitchen. Today I'm so excited to share my traditional Indian ritual celebrated as a Nori name and uh, there are a few special things prepared especially the food is prepared for uh, this occasion and I'm sharing today mixed beans sprouts so first I'm going to show you how to sprout uh, mixed beans it is known as Vadu or Vadu or it is known as Magnu Vadu but besides just the moon beans there are other uh, beans added to this recipe so let me show you how to prepare sprouting any beans is the same as sprouting moon beans here I have taken a variety of legumes lentils and beans basically green gram mug brown beans known as mug or matya black eyed peas chora known as and rajma beans kidney beans known as tuber and wild pigeon peas and wild beans black gram kala jana black beans green peas mutter chole jana garbanzo beans or chickpeas known as so you can take variety of beans and lentils to sprout to prepare mixed beans sprouts I'm going to mix all the beans and lentils mung beans brown beans matya green peas matar I prefer to take small beans more than the big beans kala chana chole chana black eyed peas and kidney beans tuber and wild pigeon peas and wild beans mix it all wash all the beans really well until water runs clear cover and let it soak for about eight hours or an overnight after eight hours or an overnight you will see that beans and lentils get double in size so they have soaked really well drain out water and also wash them really well as well into the electric pressure cooker take two cups of water place the steaming basket pan out and place it inside add beans and lentils remove the ring from the cooker lid cover the cooker keep the vent open in your electric pressure cooker yogurt function set for 8 hours or 10 hours or 24 hours it's up to you you can open anytime uh, by canceling the function so I'm going to press start all right so it's been more than 10 hours so let's check the mixed sprouted beans look at them if you are keeping longer than uh, 8 to 10 hours be sure to wash them in between carefully remove the basket from the pot now some will fall into the pot but that's fine you can just get all of them into the pot 
and I'm going to wash the bean sprouts really well now. Alright, so here I have washed, sprouted, mixed beans and look at them. And now you can use in your salad, soup, I'm going to prepare my Indian boiled mixed sprouted beans. Alright, so now here I have everything ready. I'm going to use the electric pressure cooker again to cook the beans now. So into the inner pot, get all the beans. Now once you have sprouted the beans, you can cook however you like, season however you like. But since I'm preparing for one of the Indian ritual, so I'm going to just uh, add chopped green chili. And normally even green chili and garlic is added towards the end of the cooking but since I'm going to cook into the electric pressure cooker I'm just going to go ahead and add everything right now garlic chopped and salt as for your taste now there were like initially two cups of beans and by the time they were sprouted it's about four cups now but since I'm cooking into the electric pressure cooker, it requires less water than cooked in the open pot. So I'm going to take three cups of water. If desired, you can also add turmeric powder, haldi, but haldi is not added for the ritual that I'm trying to show the recipe for. All right. As you can see that the beans are completely submerged into the water. So be sure to add um, sufficient amount of water that at least the beans are into the water. Cover the cooker and lock it. And into your electric pressure cooker, choose beans function. And by default, I have for 11 minutes and I'm just going to go ahead and start. All right, so the cooking has ended and let's open up the cooker. And look at the sprouted beans carefully. Stir them without breaking. I'm ready to prepare the tray now. I am ready to prepare the thali for the rut or I could say the, the ritual. So take out into the serving bowl. Before serving, oil is drizzled on top and serve with jowar rotla, onion, cucumber, lime and this is very special for this occasion and is must pickled mango and milk so so all food is ready for norinam so as you can see it is very interesting actually and once in a while I simply just love to um, celebrate my traditional Indian occasions no matter where I am um, and I am just so ready to dig into Magmu Vadu mm. very few ingredients but very satisfied very nutritious and very easy to digest compared to just regular cooked beans sprouted beans makes it easier to digest and this is how the thali is prepared for Nori M. Magnu Vardu Rotlo, some kachumbar with pickled mango and lime. And, and the thali should be eaten with hand. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week. 
You can also visit my website bonuskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks, and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Bonus Kitchen is everywhere. You can also watch me on a big TV screen using Roku if you have. Um, also, you can download Bonus Kitchen apps for free on many devices like Android, iOS, and more. Thanks for watching and see you soon.